What even is geography? So don't you just study maps? If you're a geography major, do you know where Mongolia is? If you're a geography major, you should know where everything is. You can't get a job in geography, you just look at maps. There are so many misconceptions about geography, and to be honest, so many people don't know what geography actually is. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining what is geography, who should study geography, and some common topics in geography that you might cover as a student. So I'm currently a sophomore at Vassar College, and I am a geography major. And I did not start as a geography major, I actually started as a political science major and an earth science and society major, which is a combination of geography and earth science. Um, and I originally came to Vassar to study environmental science. So I've kind of been all over the place, and I think that I have found a nice major in geography. I just want to explain so far what I understand geography to be, how I, what my classes look like, overall how geography has been for me, and I hope that I can kind of share some insight into why I study geography and what actually is geography, because it's not all about maps. So first of all, what is geography? So geography is actually kind of hard to define because there are so many disciplines within geography, which is really cool because if you study geography, it means you can do so many different things. But some examples are political geography, political ecology, um, physical geography, human geography, urban geography, economic geography. I'm probably forgetting other ones. And there's probably like a lot more disciplines within geography, but these are the ones that I can think of right now. Um, so there's a wide variety of things you can study within geography, but essentially what ties them all together is that they look at places within their regional context and how that and how multiple factors play a role into what makes a place as it is. So geography isn't necessarily studying maps, but studying what factors influence culture and how culture influences various things. So I'm just going to give you a few examples based on the courses that I'm currently taking. So first the intro course. So the intro course I took last semester and it covered a lot. It covered all of the disciplines that I basically just mentioned. Um, so it wasn't in depth with anything, but it did like cover a wide breadth of things. So for example, so for urban geography, we looked at questions that related to how an urban landscape is structured and what factors contribute to what makes a city as it is and how cities have developed over time. You never really approach geography from one lens. You look at multiple different factors that influence a place and makes it as it is. So for example, I'm taking a course right now in geography called Environmental China and it asks a lot of different questions about China's agriculture and China's current um, environmental development and what factors play a role in that. Some topics that we've covered so far are political ecology, so how ecological developments are shaped by policy and um, like how governmental structures influence the environment and how overall global structures like capitalism and um, the consumer market and the global supply chain influence um, environmental decisions, things like that. We also look at historical traditions of China and how those historical traditions are currently shaping env current environmental practices and how historical traditions have been incorporated into current um, environmental policies in China. We're also looking at physical geography, so what factors play a role in physical geography and how does physical geography um, thereby impact the culture in a place and impact the agricultural decisions that certain regions will have. What is the government's role in policy implementation? Um, so for example, China's authoritarian government, 
how does that influence the ability of policy to be implemented versus like a liberal democracy. Um, we also look at things like how people relate to the landscape and how culture plays a role in how people relate to the landscape. Um, how does environment shape culture? How does culture shape the environment? So ultimately, there's a lot of different topics that we go into, but the underlying theme is like what factors contribute to environmental changes in China. Geography looks at things from a very broad lens and looks at the underlying causes for policy developments or urban developments or economic developments and looks at how it in turn can change and shape cultures around the globe. And I also really like geography because I love learning about other cultures and I love learning about like what makes places as they are and you know I don't like looking at things from one lens so geography really like fulfills that desire for me. And just to take another example so um, in terms of like the environment if you're really into environmental science like me um, it doesn't just look at pure earth science, which is just physical um, processes that shape the environment. It doesn't look at just biology, how energy is transferred and how um, biological systems are adapting to climate change, which is important, but geography looks at why. So not only what, like what the science is, because it does actually look at like wind, wind patterns and global circulation and like what's impacting certain and how that's impacting certain places but it also looks at like what culture, how does culture in a place influence environmental decisions and how is that related to other regions in the world and why are some places developing one way and other places are developing another way and, and how policy decisions are influencing the environment but also like what is causing those policy decisions what are the historical underlying factors that are or cultural values that are causing those policies to be implemented and how do those policies shape everyday people on the ground in terms of like adapting to climate change you know how are historical practices changing? How is the regional context contributing to current um, environmental changes, basically? And, you know, regional context includes economics, urbanization, industrialization, politics, all that stuff. Um, I'm taking another course, which is Geographies of Food and Farming. And in this course, it's more focused on physical geography. So how, like I said, how do wind patterns and soil type um, biomes, how do they impact what is grown in a specific area? And then other geographies, other geographers might look at how what's grown impacts culture, um, how it's influencing the demographic transition model, um, how it's contributing to urbanization. But we, we don't look at that in our class. Um, I'm just saying those are other facets that might interest geographers. In the second half of the course, we're looking at agriculture policy. So what are the agricultural policies that have influenced agriculture? Um, how has that impacted farmers? Um, something that we're really looking at is the farm bill. Like why was the farm bill created in the first place? What contributed to its development? And what has its impact been on farmers across the United States? Yeah. Ultimately, I just want to say that geography looks at places in their regional context and then kind of situates those places globally. Like, what makes this place the unique place that it is today? What has contributed to that development? Um, I feel like I'm not adequately explaining this good enough, but I hope that you get the point um, that geography is very multidisciplinary and that it looks at cultures from various angles, it looks at environmental issues from various angles, and policy decisions, and urban development, economic development from these multiple different lenses. With all that being said, who should study geography? I would say if you are interested in learning about other cultures, 
if you're interested in learning about different places around the world, um, then geography would be a really, really good fit for you because you are exploring all of the different factors that make different cultures as they are. Geography is all about learning about regional context and making sure that you understand a place from its specific political, environmental, um, economic um, point of view in that specific place. So you're really situating yourself in a specific place and understanding what makes that place like it is. If you're interested in conservation, I would say that geography is a really good fit for you because it incorporates earth science, um, political science, like physical geography, um, population dynamics, natural resource distribution and how people use natural resources, um, cultural influences that might impact environmental decisions, um, economics, so how does the economics of the international like commodity chain, how does that influence environmental decisions? Yeah, things like that. Um, if you're interested in policy, I would say this is also a really good field for you because it looks at historical relationships to other countries and how that's developed over time, um, how government structure plays a role in policy decisions and implementation, um, the historical perspectives of the people. So how has the people's relationship to government been over the years? How has that changed? What making, what's making a change? Um, like I said, economics, um, how that drives industrialization, urbanization, trade. Um, is it helping or hurting economies of specific places and why? Um, how that's impacting people on the ground. Um, how policy decisions influence culture and economics. You know, even just physical geography. What is it about the environment that maybe has led to certain developments? So, for instance, um, the Middle East and oil. Like, how has its geography played a role in the policy that has developed there? How have their access to resources developed their political systems? Um, things like that. Also, if you're just interested in looking at things from a multidisciplinary lens, then I would definitely encourage you to study geography or even take a geography course um, because I didn't realize how much I would like geography. I always thought it was like about maps um, and I didn't realize how much I would like it until I took the course and how it looks at things from so many different angles to explain um, to explain things because there's never just one cause. It's never just politics. It's never just physical environment. It's never just economic reasons like there's so many factors behind why things occur as they do and geography kind of explores all of those different paths if you're interested in economic development it could also be really cool because it explores why certain places have developed more economically than other places how the global supply chain has been developed in different countries and what makes it a success and more of a disaster in other countries um, population change and dynamic. If you're into like demographics, then geography is definitely really like a good fit for you because it does explore like migration and demographic transition model and that's all in human geography. Um, like why people migrate to different places, what drives urbanization, like urbanization policy, things like that. So human geography is definitely a big field in geography. So what job can you get with geography. Um, there are so many jobs I've learned that you can get with geography and the thing is that really you can make a case for any job if you have a geography degree I think. If you want to get into politics, environment, um, conservation, really anything. Like you can use your geography degree to your advantage because you're looking at things from so many different angles and includes so many different disciplines that I think you can make a case for really any job. Some examples are cartography, so actually producing um, GIS maps, looking at um, maybe like environmental degradation in the area and mapping 
um, resources around the world. Um, you can also get into intelligence, um, security analysis, because, well, one, intelligence analysis and like international politics really rely on culture and geography. Um, but two, you can also produce security maps. So you can work for an intelligence agency and um, be a cartographer for intelligence agencies if you're interested in that. Um, you can get into policy work, you can end up being a lawyer. Um, I think geography is a really cool discipline if you want to be a lawyer. Yeah, I can't, there are just so many disciplines that you can ultimately pursue. And usually I would feel, I feel like a lot of people go on to get a master's to like specialize in something a little bit more specific. So maybe like climate policy or um, public policy, um, even medicine, law. Those are all things that geography majors might explore. But you also don't need a master's. You can do a lot with just a bachelor's geography degree. And I hope I've kind of explained throughout the video why. Um, because of its interdisciplinary nature. So, um, yeah, you definitely won't be limited by a geography degree. And in fact, I think it opens you up to a lot of different possibilities because unlike, say, if you just study biology and then you apply for, um, I don't know, and then you, you get really interested in a different field, like, like, I don't know, maybe you want to be a lawyer then your biology de degree didn't really pay off for your law interest and you probably won't like use much of your information in law um, or if you studied something like chemistry but you end up going into politics or economics then your chemistry degree won't really help you in getting a job in those fields but if you are not 100% set on what you want to do when you get out of college, I feel like a geography degree can really be applied to anything. I mean, unless you're doing something like very specific, like you want to apply to be like a nurse or something. But <laughs> um, generally, I feel like a geography degree can fit pretty much almost anything. Um, and it opens up a lot of doors for you. And if you have any questions, please leave them below because I want to make sure that I explain this as best as I can. So please ask questions in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more information um, where I might explain more videos about what actually geography is, hopefully a little bit better than this one, where I might take you behind the scenes, show you some of the GIS work that I do. Um, I'm self-taught in ArcGIS Pro, so maybe I'll show you some of that, um, show you a day in the life of my classes, um, what geography work looks like. So if you enjoyed this video and you're interested in learning more, then remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video.